have something special here. My friend made me a tabletop out of birch. This is going to be my workbench. in the workshop and then I can start working on this. Pretty heavy. <sighs> Look at that, my friend. Help me to lift it up. No chance alone. It's such a heavy table. But now it's here and uh, it's so beautiful. It's almost too good here. But I think it's good to have one flat surface in your workshop. And this might be the only flat surface here. So that's great.
pretty much done. And I think it looks really beautiful. I can't wait to start working on this. Uh, let me explain how I at least thought I'm gonna use this. I already know that when I start working here I will drill more holes and fix here and there. But anyway, the basic structure is here and I think it's already functional. So I got these holdfasts and these are a bit less than 19 millimeters thick and the holes I drilled are 20 millimeters and the distance between these holes are done so that when I have two of these I can kind of overlap these like this and using this is very simple however I never used these at school or at home when I was a kid uh, which just has some whys and stuff like that uh, and I found these on YouTube a uh, long time ago already but uh, never had one and it all started basically because I couldn't install a tailwise there but that's fine because I, I found these are great I mean you can attach all kinds of things here and uh, you don't really need tailwise uh, and you know it's easy to install these and uh, uh, for example we have a longer board that we want to cut we can just put it here and uh, boom we are ready uh, when you want to take it out just hit it here a couple times and there we go then we have these stoppers or whatever you want to call this uh, if we want to plane something or carve we'll just put it here and uh, we can either use hold fast like this Pretty good place to work. Whatever you want to do, or if we need all the width, we can take this one out. And I think you can see it easier if I use the shorter piece. You can put it here, and then I made this kind of piece and it enables us to attach different kind of boards here best fit here. We can try a different angle like so. There we go. here with the mice and if we have really long keys I can use these as a support like this and of course we can work like this here and uh, last thing I made a couple of holes here, here and there, and found these weird screws from my toolbox. And we can put this here, 
And if we have something smaller that we want to work with, So that's the basic concept and uh, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to work next but I have a couple of ideas. So anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time.